Hi, I'm Jacob Coppler, owner of TNH Prime Meats and Sausage in San Marcos, California. I'm a butcher and mainly a sausage maker. Was trained in Switzerland and built a business here in San Marcos selling steaks and gourmet sausages. We do sausages, which means anything from a smoked bratwurst to a white bratwurst, a veal bratwurst, a weisswurst, and just about any wurst or sausage, what we should call it, jalapeno cheddar, linguiça, which is a Portuguese garlic sausage, a South African burrowers, a uh, Chorizo de Argentina, we have so many lines of different uh, poultry sausages, uh, turkey apricot with almonds, we have uh, chicken pesto sausage. This is where it all starts. We bring the carcass out of the cooler after they cool down efficiently to get them worked up and we make all kinds of products out of it. We have pork where we mainly make sausage, we have beef where we mainly make steak and some other products like jerky, uh, dried sausage and so forth. We uh, always want to make sure everything is totally cold, very sanitary handling, clean products. So sanitation is very, very important in this business because you have the health of all kinds of people at stake. These are some of the tools we're going to use in uh, taking the carcasses apart to make either retail cuts or make uh, the necessary pieces where we make sausage out of it or ground beef. Now you see different things, uh, a scraper, this is a steel to sharpen your knife, this is to break the beef, and then this is to make the steaks, the, the clean cuts. Now also we have to use the saw which is a very dangerous uh, piece of equipment and we got to make sure we keep all the parts safely in place all the protection has to be on it because if you don't if you disrespect the safety you're going to get hurt and you're going to be looking like that a butcher you know without a finger or two and then from there we go to the vacuum pack machine if it's a retail cut which has to be stored or frozen, we vacuum pack everything and then it will go out into the counter or into the freezer for people to uh, take home. In this business you have to be very organized because you have so many animals and carcasses you got to process. You have to have a schedule so everything is right on time, aged right, so everything has to be written down in the sequence, the way it's cut, how many packages, what's the amount, what's the weight, and uh, every uh, segment in the process has to be documented for the inspector, which is from the California Department of uh, Meat Inspections. We have to make a pre-operation uh, walkthrough every morning so everything is satisfactory for the sanitation purpose. Where I made my apprenticeship and my basic education for sausage making and uh, the butcher business, uh, we do an apprenticeship for about four or five years. We have two days of theoretical education in a school and the nice thing is you can work all week with your mentor or with your uh, master sausage maker where you can apply all the technical know-hows from the school which means anything from putting formulations together to figure out the margins on profits or the differentiation between buying lower priced items versus bigger higher priced items and it just gives a good feeling when you finish with your apprenticeship you have a fully rounded education to succeed in a small business like I run here you got to be committed to uh, quality, good customer service and consistency of your quality and be innovative and I think you can succeed just like you do in any other business. You've got to be committed to it.